Hey guys, some of you have been asking me how I go about planning my trips um, to some of the places that you've seen in the vlogs that you've watched. Well, I wanted to upload a quick video to show you guys the resources I use and the steps I take to plan the absolute lowest cost trip or um, vacation uh, that I can possibly have. I will show you guys the resources I use to find the cheapest flights. Um, how to book a hotel and the resources I use to plan an itinerary in the locations that you've seen in some of the vlogs. Well, the first thing that I typically purchase whenever I'm planning the trip is the ticket. And I use several resources to ensure that I get the lowest price ticket uh, that's out there. The trick to getting the cheapest tickets is to book early and to book quickly. I typically book my flights between six and eight months in advance and sometimes up to 10 months in advance, depending on what the flight deal is. I have three favorite websites for travel alerts. Um, Thrifty Traveler, Smarter Travel, and Scott's Travel Deals. Those are my three favorite websites. I'm sure there are more out there, but those are the websites that I typically use. Um, you would click on the location that you want to go to. In this particular case is Lisbon, Portugal. Um, once you click on the deal, you would scroll down. You would see um, what time frame the deal is um, valid. In this particular case, uh, the departure that I'll use is November 1st. And the return I'll use, let's say November 14th but you can use any date that is listed here. So once you click on the deal, in this particular case, the website that they're using will be Priceline. Once you click on the Priceline link, um, you put in the information that was provided on the website. You put in the departure area, which for this uh, trip to Lisbon, it's gonna be the JFK airport and you'll be flying into Portugal. And once you put in the dates and you click the search engine, the flights will uh, populate. Now, in this particular case, you can see already that the deal that they posted on the website is actually a little bit even more expensive, even though it's still an inexpensive flight coming from JFK, it's even more expensive than what's on the website. So you can even save a few more dollars like that. Um, yeah, so that's Thrifty Traveler um, and Smarter, Smarter Travel and Scott's Travel Deals are very similar in how they alert you whenever there are inexpensive flights um, to you know several locations. Overall, the sites are free, but you can sign up for a yearly subscription that can go anywhere from $25 to $35 per year. And you may be asking me if it's worth it. The answer is yes. I signed up for um, the travel alerts for Thrifty Traveler and you can customize your departure location. In my case, my departure location is gonna be Hartsfield Jackson Airport, and it will show you all the deals for um, Hartsfield Jackson Airport to any particular city that you want to go to. Um, the most recent one, I got an email alert from um, Hartsfield Jackson Airport to um, Milan, Italy, and that was a pretty good deal. So, Another tip when it comes to planning low cost travel would to be book off season. Peak season is pretty much defined as uh, summer all the way to early fall. So um, June to maybe mid September. And I typically book outside of that peak season um, because the tickets are usually a lot less, in, a lot less expensive as well as the hotel um, hotel prices are inexpensive as well. So to recap, to get the absolute lowest cost flights, you want to book early and want to get a travel alert, you want to book quickly. You should definitely be open to going to new and interesting places. Sometimes deals are in places that you probably never plan to visit. So whenever you are booking your hotel, um, you just want to keep in mind that there are resources as well when it comes to planning where you stay. Um, I like to stay in hotels and that's just because I use points 
a lot of the times when I'm booking uh, trips, but there are other options. You don't have to stay in a hotel. And if you do want to stay in a hotel, there are options as far as like price goes. You can use Airbnb, Travelocity, there's booking.com, um, even TripAdvisor. Um, so do your research, figure out what works for you. Uh, there's like, you can stay in hostels, you can stay in hotels, you can stay in bed and breakfasts. And you can also stay with family. When you're in a place that you're not familiar with, planning is very important. I use a few websites that help me build an itinerary. Not to say that you have to stick strictly to your itinerary, but when there are moments that you don't know what you're doing, where you wanna go, you can just pull out your itinerary and just follow that for maybe a couple of hours just so that you maximize your trip. I use a few websites and these are actually my favorite websites to use when it comes to planning an itinerary because not only does it help you uh, figure out what there is to do in a specific location, uh, but it tells you information about the places that you are, some fun facts. Um, sometimes it lists the cost uh, so it can help you uh, plan in advance. You can probably even purchase the tickets that you want to use for a specific activity prior to arriving in that country. So the websites I use when it comes to planning an itinerary, um, uh, let's see here, Visit a City is my absolute favorite itinerary planner uh, because it lists, you know, you can list uh, based on time. Uh, you can customize it coming from your hotel or coming from the airport. Um, and it actually lists what time the things close. For example, um, museums on Tuesday in Paris um, are typically closed. Um, and if you were to put your itinerary into the Visit a City website, then it'll tell you that. And so you can rearrange a lot of your um, activities based on that information. Now, a few other websites I use for planning my itinerary. So our, I already said Visit a City. Um, TripAdvisor, I've said that several times, it's one of my favorite um, apps to use. And another thing about TripAdvisor is that you can actually download an offline map for whatever country you are in, whatever city you're in, um, and use it offline. Because a lot of the times if you were to go to some of the smaller cities or you're using your phone overseas, your internet doesn't work as uh, quickly as it does in your home country. So you can download the offline map for whatever city you're in and it helps you navigate the city a little better, saves time. Um, Google Trips is a good app to use. Uh, Viator. Viator is another web resource that I use. Get Your Guide and Kluk, that is spelled K-L-O-O-K. -O -O um, those are all resources that I use. Um, one of the other key tips that I would use whenever planning a trip to a city is to determine whether or not that particular city has maybe a city or an activity pass. Uh, for example, the I Am Amsterdam card was a great resource. I highly recommend the I Am Amsterdam card. Get it. Uh, and the Roma pass as well. Um, I've used those two things. Those were very helpful. Paris, I know, has like a museum pass. Well, those are some of the tips that I have when it comes to planning a trip somewhere. Um, when it comes to like planning a flight, planning a hotel, and planning your itinerary for whatever location that you're planning to go to. Um, if you guys have any other tips as far as like websites or some of the resources that you use that makes trip planning a lot more efficient or convenient and please put some information in the comment section so that we can all um, have awesome travels. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.